And I'm gonna bet on that killing the Melaskula and then this is gonna do more to remove as this type of haunted. Oh my god. Hey, how's it going, I'm Lynx, and today we're gonna try out an anti Asterosa team here. Uh, we're gonna use the Master Mono along with the Wedding Bronhild and also Ludosiel. I mean, the damage reduction could be a little bit overkill um, with the defense that decreases all, all of that, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, the CC isn't the highest, I haven't upgraded her cosmetics yet. Um, I'm basically waiting for the ReZero collab, you know? <laughs> I was too strong. Alright. I wonder if we can get a player that stays. An Asterosa player. Uh, I don't have my lights on in the room right now, as you can see. Uh, just because my two cats are sleeping here next to me. So, one is on this side and one is on the bed over there. I don't want to disturb them. Alright, so we got another Asterosa here. Uh, and yes, we get to go first, so... I'll target him and we'll see what I can do here. I should probably attack with Mono... No, with Bronhild last. He does have Meliodas here who will debuff me and that will increase my attack with, um, with her because of her passive here. So... Uh, I wonder if I should just go for one of these, one of these, um, an AoE. Evasion, of course. Alright. That's cool. Let's just see how much damage we can do here. And now we're disabled. <laughs> um, I should always t test for evasion food, but it is what it is. At least we got one more single target attack card here, um, and hopefully he can't do too much damage. He will apply as many debuffs as he as he can, but we'll just see here. What did this card do? A spike. The damage increase. All right. Like that could be good. And he is buffed, so yeah, we'll just see. See what we can do here. Um, now he does have his stats increased by quite a bit. What is it? Uh, 25 percent. It's three, four, five, six, seven times five. 35 percent. All right. Um, but we'll go like this. I'll do an AOE here and we'll finish it off with a single target against the Esterosa. Oh wow! Just straight up kill them. <laughs> Didn't expect that. And of course I'm playing on gear because uh, I don't have Monster Mono's gear set. I don't have a gear set for her, so see it in the back. That was weird. It'd be thought, yeah, kill my Esterosa and I'll have like an assault melee team. Maybe, you know. Alright, I just want to add here that I didn't see that there's an exclusive rule going on now that's apparently for ants, but it increases our attack related stats of all heroes participating in a battle by 5% for 2 turns before a skill is used. Decreases HP related stats by 10% for 2 turns after a skill is used. Limit 3 times. And I'm assuming the limit is to the uh, decrease HP related stats. Which, I mean, fine. Uh, it's, it, it did help us one shot some units. Uh, of course it did. Um, would we, have, would we have still one shotted some units or completely dominated the Asterosas even without this rule? Yeah, I, I actually do think so. So, while the rule is here, I still feel like it wouldn't really have mattered for this particular team against the Starosa. So, which is what this video is about. But yeah, we'll just get back into it. Alright, so now I'm gonna at least test for dodge food. Alright, uh, I do have 194. We could still rock dodge food. Ooh. Ooh. Do I dare? <laughs> I actually dare to go for that, Liz. Like he's, he, he doesn't have anything that he can debuff me yet, so... I'm not gonna bother with that stats increase. Um, but yeah, that's just... <laughs> oh my god, I should have gone with the silver first. 
<laughs> oh. But yeah, this is the video you're getting today. Um, I was actually gonna wait for the mono... What is it? The teddy bear, koala, whatever the outfit is from the Hawk Pass. Um, but that's pretty much a few weeks off. And by that point, you know what? Like, maybe Esterosa would have fallen off, so... They want to use her because she's type advantage against Esterosa and you've seen target attacks hit hard. So, let's just see what we can do here. I can get her ultimate and we we'll probably try to just hit that Sorrel as hard as I can. We'll do one of these. Oh my god. <laughs> It just deletes them, man. Our ultimate is a secret technique ultimate. Oh, hi, did I get her? Like, that's not a lot, right? That's a 2-6. Two, 2-6 six. Two, six secret technique. And a Bronhill victory for whatever reason. Oh, another Esterosa. That's what we like to see. And we get to go first. He does have quite low CC, so I'm assuming dodge food now. And um, I'll actually test for dodge food with this attack. I'm gonna go ahead and single target him. Uh, yeah, and that should debuff the Brunhild enough to where um, this AoE attack is gonna hit for hard, so... Yeah. Evasion food. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, now he at least has Assault Mode Meliodas, and he has two buffs there. And if Sigurd drops down from behind, which he does, now he's gonna get three more buffs. He could kill any one of my units, and we'll see who he goes for. Uh, but if he doesn't go for Mono, then uh, I got some very nice cards down here. <laughs> he's going for a Zeldris, he's gonna prevent me from healing. And do a single target with Zeldris. So weak. And he couldn't kill her. Alright. And he did disable his Zeldris there. Uh, but I should probably go for the Meliodas. Um, we we'll just AoE. Uh, once, do one single target attack and then another AoE. <laughs> the Zeldris just got deleted. <laughs> Alright, well, good game, dude. I'm thinking as the next video I'll do, unless there's like some big news about the ReZero uh, collab or whatever, the next video I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do on, uh, um, what's it called, the um, character breakdown of the Assault Mode Esterosa, so, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and do this, even though I know he has the last killer there. Just to kill him. I mean, any one of his units I can easily kill, so... Oh, did that pop the Liz revive and not the Melascula passive? That's weird. Alright, I thought it was gonna pop the Melascula passive, but I guess uh, the Melascula passive comes next. So I guess it was a good thing I went in that order. Just straight up attack Dreamer. We probably can't kill any one of my units here. Um... So I guess I got free rain on him, and I'll probably kill that Melaskula. Oh god, he's gonna get his ult. Uh... Will this kill? Well, I'm gonna bet on that killing the Melaskula, and then this is gonna do more to remove because it's type advantage. Oh my god. Contemplating like what attacks you'll do, and you, yeah, her AOE is just completely nuts. You, oh my god, 
But yeah, as my next video, I'm gonna do the Asterosa breakdown. Uh, I'm probably gonna do it a little bit more scripted. Not really scripted, I'm just gonna have some talking points and not ramble on like I usually do. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more better. I'm gonna record some B-rolls instead of actually going in and playing PvP. I'm gonna have some B-rolls running in the background as I talk, so... It should look more professional. Yeah, but here I got two AoE attacks and... <laughs> yeah, I can kill whoever I want here, so... There we go. The Sorrel is going down. And the Liz. <laughs> oh, this team is crazy. Man. It's absolutely nuts. It's so beautiful. I think this is a bot, so I'm actually gonna get a gold card off. Because <laughs> any real player would have just left at that point. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Get a gold card, get a nice Master. thumbnail, maybe. 224k, that's not... That's not terrible for Angir. That's actually really, really good. Especially since you don't have, like, Esterosa's uh, encroachment damage. Then you can get a lot, lot more, but... 224k, that's very, very respectable. If I can't find another player... Then I'm gonna call it, and I'm probably gonna add some bot matches. I would like the five bot matches at least now. <laughs> In a row. I'll just cut it up, make it... Yeah. Make it nice, right buddy? Oh. Alright, another Goddess Liz team. 216k, that's a big boy. That's a very, very big boy. Fortunately... We didn't get the worst cards. Alright. Uh, it's probably gonna taunt up. And then we'll see. Yeah. Single target attacking. Is, is it a bot? Because who attacks with laser turn one? Now he just disabled himself. Yeah, it's a bot. Alright, I'll try to kill the laser then. I think it's a shame I couldn't find any more players. I mean, it is what it is, so. Popping up, of course, of course. So we'll go Secret Technique and like that. Kill whoever's left. Oh yeah, big people. Oh, there was an actual player. What? <laughs> what? No, sorry dude for calling a bot. Alright. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Hold on, let me just place it in front of me. So you can see me. Alright, well that's gonna be it for this video. Um This was meant to be a Esterosa hunting video or whatever. Uh I'm not even sure. I was gonna make another video, but somehow I wasn't feeling it, so this is what you're getting. Um Hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed watching me wreck some noobs and bots and maybe bots i'll see if i include the bot matches we'll see um but anyway thanks for watching and i guess i catch you in the next one bye